National Predators, John Hines. Thank you, Kevin. Um, John Hines is a great leader. He has a great track record of uh, both effectively developing uh, younger players and successfully motivating veteran players. Uh, he's certainly young in comparison to me and a very, as a, a young, I feel up and coming and very bright coach and we are confident that he is the guy to uh, cultivate a winning culture in our, in our locker room. I really like uh, John's resume. Uh, nothing has ever been given to him. Uh, he went to Boston University. Um, he played in four Frozen Fours uh, at college. He won a title in 1995. Uh, yeah, for three seasons, uh, he was a teammate and roommate of uh, Assistant General Manager Jeff Kelty. So he's got a good good relationship there for, for sure. Um, he started his coaching career immediately after after college, serving as an assistant at BU. Uh, players like Chris Jury were on that team. Uh, uh, then he, he moved on to a role with the U.S. National Team Development Program, and then he went to the University of Wisconsin as an assistant there. I believe he met his his wife there. That's correct. He's got a wife, and he's got three 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 girls. All hockey coaches seem to have three girls. <laughs> it's, it's worked that way. Uh, but John's never been given anything after uh, Wisconsin he, to get into professional hockey. Uh, he took a job as assistant coach at uh, Wilkes-Barre, which is Pittsburgh's organization. And uh, I think he, from a standard of living, what have you, I think he took a substantial cut to, to do what he wanted to do, to get into pro hockey, to prove that, that he could be a, a good up and coming coach. He, he got promoted there at Wilkes-Barre to head coach. And then eventually when Ray Shiro, former assistant general manager with the Predators, got the job in New Jersey, he hired him in New Jersey. As you know, I'm very close with uh, Ray, and I'm very close to uh, Ray's assistant, who is Tom Fitzgerald, who is the first captain of the, the Nashville Predators. And uh, they uh, had, I, I knew a lot about John talking to other people, but boy, did they ever put, put this over, overboard in terms of what they thought of John and what, his, what he could do for us as a coach and what his, his, his potential um, was. So I. I really feel we're getting John at the right time of his his career, um, not unlike other coaches that we've had here. Uh, when they get more opportunities, they get more experience. I think they 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 they, they, they thrive on the next uh, next oppor opportunity. So, I it's a it's never a perfect time to come into a to a to a club. John arrives here <laughs> today without any practices, without any conversations with any of our our players, but we're going to figure